Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to our tutorial today. What we're gonna share with you in this video is all about how to use Facebook Power Editor to create call to action buttons on your page posts. I'm Sarah from theharmoniestudio.com and in this video we're just gonna take you through the very quick, very easy seven step process that you will go through whenever you decide to use your power editor to create your page posts so you can use the cool little call to action buttons on your posts to incentivize your audience to follow through with the command that you're asking them to do. So if you guys are looking to increase traffic or sales to your website or you're looking to increase your click-through rates, this option is going to benefit you because it's going to give you the opportunity to add in a to, to add in a call to action box, which people seem to resonate with more on Facebook than they do with just uh, regular text. And we'll show you what we mean by that in just a second. So diving right in, the first step you need to do in order to make this happen is you need to actually have Power Editor for your Facebook. And right now it's only available on Google Chrome. So what you need to do is simply, you know, just open up a tab and type in Facebook Power Editor. There we go. And right here, the first thing you should see is where can I find Power Editor? This is gonna take you directly to Facebook Help Center where you can download it for Google Chrome and then you can actually have the URL that you need to bookmark for future reference, okay? All right, now assuming that everybody has theirs, we're going to go to our Power Editor, which is this, see, right here. This is the same address that we just took from the Facebook Help Center. So we've opened up our power editor and now we're going to select our page that we want our post to show up on. So if you have multiple fan pages, then just make sure that you're being very careful and paying attention and selecting the one that you that it's supposed to be going on. That'll be helpful. <laughs> okay, now step two is creating the post, which we can do right here where this button says create post. Okay, so once you click create post, you're gonna get this box right here and it's going to give you a lot of options we're not going to go too much into detail right here because i'm going to show you what each one looks like visually when you are mostly completed with this process okay so step three is selecting your post type and then filling in the information according to which type it is so right here you have an option to create a link post a photo video status or offer we're just gonna stick with link for this one because that's the one that we experimented with earlier. So you have your URL, your post text, your call to action. So you have shop now, learn more, all these. Your link headline, display link, description, and picture. That's all step three. Step four is now selecting whether you want your post to be ran as an ad or as just a page post. So if you want it to be just a page post, which for the sake of this tutorial it is, once you click that one, it's gonna ask you for languages and location. That's just so Facebook knows how to distribute this post since you're doing it through your power editor. All right, now step five, you just come down here and you're gonna click this option to create your post. Now, we're gonna get into this in a second, but just because you create the post, it does not mean that it's on your page right now. If you were to try to go back to your Facebook page, it's not gonna be there because you have not uploaded the changes. You haven't actually published it or uploaded the changes and we'll show you what that looks like in just a second. Now step six, we want to preview our post for review and then publish it. So if you want to, if, if, you're, if you're at this step and you're looking to preview your post, you wanna make sure that it's the one that has the half moon symbol right here and in order to in order to preview it, you just click, oops, you just click the message right here, and you will see post preview pop up. Now, this is the cool uh, a cool feature that I personally find very helpful because not only do I get to see what it looks like in our desktop news feed, we can see what it looks like for mobile users as well as anyone who looks at the right column feed of their Facebook pages but we also get to get the option to see what it looks like on our page once we publish it, okay? All right, now we're going to go through, we're, we're gonna go through the fill-in information that we just discussed with creating the post to show you what it looks like. So the URL, 
is the particular blog post that you would like to direct people to or sales page, whatever it is. But for this sake, we chose a blog post that we wanted to direct traffic to. So we took the actual page, uh, blog post page URL, posted it in the in where it asked for the URL, and then it asked for post text. Do you guys remember when it said that? Well, the post text is this right here. It's the very short text that's going to display above any images or posts that you make for this option. And you wanna make sure if you implement the post text, if you decide to use it, make sure that again, it's short and it's congruent with what is in the remainder of your content. Okay, it's very important. You wanna think of your post text as like a little carrot dangling in front of your audience to incentivize them to be like, hmm, okay, well, I wanna learn. Is my content losing its power? Well, I don't know, how do I know? Well, you gotta click learn more to find out. See where I'm going? And then the next option was your call to action button. It asked you to assign your post a specific command, which this is what it'll look like once you've created the post. Now, it's gonna look different depending on which command you actually use. So it might say shop now, download, yada yada. For this particular one, it was learn more. And then it asked you for your link headline. Now your link headline is this right here. This bad boy right here. For blog posts, I would recommend using the title of your blog post. Again, because you want to keep things as, things as congruent as possible. So that's what we did for this first experiment of ours. And then your display link is this one right here. Instead of repasting the particular blog post URL, I did our main blog domain. Does that make sense? <laughs> and then uh, after the display link, which was again this right here, it's gonna ask you for a description, which was this little message right here. And this is simply um, an opportunity for you to give a little bit more of a description of what people can expect to learn if they follow through with your call to action command right here, okay? So now we are at the publish post. So make sure that the message that you want to post is highlighted. We're going to click publish post and it's going to ask us, do we want to publish now or schedule a time? For, for this tutorial, we'll just go ahead and go with publish now and we're gonna click the publish button. And this is very important guys, step seven, we want to come up here to the big green button and click upload changes. As you can see, it's going to go through the little scroll bar, it's gonna let you know it's done. Why isn't it going away yet? <laughs> oh, it's done, okay. Uh, so then you click close and now Dun, 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 dun. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to our Facebook page. And look at that! This is cool. <laughs> this is really cool, guys. Okay, so we wanted to save steps six and seven so that you could actually see what this part of the process looks like. And if by now you still cannot see how powerful this is, what the heck are you doing on my video? <laughs> but by now you should be able to see the flexibility that this is going to offer you to help you incentivize your market to follow through with whatever commands you, you want them to take. Now, to give you guys a comparison on what they look like, this is what, this is what your post looks like once you've created it within a power within your power editor and you've been able to add a call to action button okay this is what that looks like obviously super cool now if you are creating a post directly from your page you know it looks it, it, it just looks like this let me show you another one what was the link here we go this was the blog post that we posted yesterday and here, for if you're uh, if you're trying to create a page post directly from your page with a call to action, it'll look like this. You have to your call to action is something like finish reading at 
and then whatever URL you want people to go to, or shop now at, or download here at, but there's no actual, there's no actual button, right? There's no, your command, your call to action can get lost within the text of the remainder of your post, which tends to happen with a lot of, um, with a lot of marketers. So because Facebook had just recently created a lot of changes to its organic reach algorithms, and up until recently, Facebook only allowed these calls to actions to be available for paid ads, to kind of compromise and get back into good graces with business pages, they implemented the call to action buttons over into your power editor for your page posts. And now you get this. Doesn't that just scream click me? Doesn't that just scream? Ah, it just, ah, oh, so pretty. Okay. Now those were the seven steps that you can take to use your Facebook power editor to create your call to action buttons on your page posts. We recommend that you do a lot of experimenting, do a lot of testing, see what works best with your market, with your particular audience, but make sure that you're implementing these as, I would say, as often as possible. Now, because we just discovered this the other day, obviously, and we saved our first post for you guys, we wanted to let you guys know that, you know, we will be planning on doing a lot of experimenting and seeing how this runs with our audience, but from what we've come across so far, other marketers who've been implementing this have been doing exceedingly well and have seen a dramatic increase in their post engagements, in the traffic to their websites, their sales, all of which should be important things to you if you run a business, I would think. Okay. So if you guys uh, found value in today's video tutorial, make sure that you let us know by leaving us a like and a comment. And of course, if you would like more information about this particular tutorial, make sure that you catch us on our blog post. We're gonna be providing you guys with a downloadable PDF. So thank you guys for tuning in to our tutorial. Again, we hope you found awesome value in it and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.